Ladies and gentlemen, step right up as I serve you the sizzling, fresh off the grill, absolutely tantalizing top 10 insights from a little literary culinary masterpiece whipped up by the one and only Andrew Grove, aka the guy who put the silicon in Silicon Valley, high output management. Now let me tell you, this ain't your grandma's cookbook. No siree. It's the secret sauce to zest up that corporate kitchen of yours. So put on your aprons and let's get cooking. One, leverage that breakfast factory. Imagine you've got a plate full of fluffy pancakes in front of you. Mmm, delicious, right? But think about how many steps it took to get there. Heating the griddle, measuring ingredients, mixing that batter without sloshing it all over that nice clean apron. That's you, hotshot, that's your business. Every step, every flip of the pancake matters. Andy tells us to think like a breakfast chef. Pay attention to the details and optimize the process from batter to syrupy goodness. It's about quality and quantity. Too slow and customers starve, too fast and the kitchen burns down. Find that sweet spot and serve it up. Two, the best predictor of the weather is the forecast, not the rain dance. At this carnival of productivity, you don't want to be the one doing a rain dance and hoping for results. You need to forecast, forecast, forecast. It's about reading the clouds, understanding the wind patterns, and watching those barometers. Grove says, get your crystal ball polished and make educated guesses about the future based on what you know today. No magic spells, love potions, or funky dances. Data, baby, it's all about the data. Three, the art of delectable delegation. Imagine trying to juggle fire torches while riding a unicycle. Sounds about as fun as doing every single job in your company, right? Delegation is the art of handing off those fire torches so you can focus on not falling off the unicycle. It means knowing your team, trusting them with the spatula, and letting them flip their own pancakes. Andy's dishing out the wisdom. Find your strengths, delegate the rest, and keep your eye on the overall performance. Let your kitchen staff shine, and don't micromanage, or you'll have a food fight on your hands. Four. The delicious feedback sandwich. Nobody likes a dry, unseasoned piece of feedback. You gotta layer it like a tasty sandwich. Positive, constructive, positive. Keep it appetizing. Grove's getting culinary on management techniques. You give your people the good stuff, wedge in what they need to improve without squishing their spirits, and top it off with some more good stuff. That's a feedback sandwich that'll keep your team coming back for seconds. Five. Machiavelli's got nothing on management by objectives. You want your team to paint you the Mona Lisa of productivity, right? Well, you better give them the vision, the canvas, and the colors they need. Objectives set the scene, and the key results are the brushstrokes that bring it to life. Grove lays it out. Set clear, measurable goals. An SMAR objective is your ticket to the composition of a masterpiece. But remember, micromanagement is the equivalent of painting over someone else's work. Don't be that guy. Six, indicator lights on your control panel. Your dashboard ain't just for decoration. It's chock full of indicator lights telling you if you're cruising or about to drop out of the sky. Indicators in your business can be things like sales numbers, product quality, and customer satisfaction scores. Watch those lights like a hawk. If something's blinking red, it's time to buckle up and take action. Grove's not suggesting you become a mechanic overnight, but knowing when to pop the hood sure helps. Seven, the inbox zero hero, your inbox. It's like a hydra, chop off one head, three more emails pop up to say howdy do. Andy Grove tackles this monster with a lasso made of discipline and organization. Let nothing linger, make decisions swiftly, and keep that inbox as clean as the day it was born. If you can master the untamed beast of emails, you'll be the rootin' tootin' sheriff of Productivity Town. Eight, stirring the pot without getting burned. Ah, one pot cooking, it's all the rage. In business, that means stirring the pot of your regular operations to keep the stew from sticking. Grove whispers the secret. It's all about an elegant dance, knowing when to dip in without getting your fancy pants burned. It's called operational rhythm. Keep the beat, shuffle your feet, and make sure you're not just reacting, you're conducting the orchestra, my maestro. Nine, the Cliff Clavin of corporate wisdom. Just like everyone's favorite know-it-all postal worker, always keep a tidbit of trivia in your back pocket. Except here, you're collecting knowledge nuggets about your business. 
Grove's out there saying, continuous learning is your gateway to nirvana, or, you know, just staying ahead of the curve. Seize every chance to learn. Don't let your business smart stagnate, or you'll be delivering yesterday's mail. 10. Cultivating the corporate greenhouse. Finally, let's talk about the people. They're not just cogs in the machine. They're delicate flora in your corporate greenhouse. Grove tells us we need to nurture them, water them, maybe even sing to them, whatever it takes to help them grow. Create an environment that's conducive to personal and professional development, because when they flourish, so does your business. So there you have it, folks. The glitz, the glam, the pure, unadulterated wisdom extracted from high output management. Take these insights, marinate them in your mind juices, and grill up some success kebabs for your organization. Just remember, every kebab stick can pierce your heart if you're not careful. So grill responsibly, and may your management output be ever high.